How does love win over hate, Ryan Hall, in this world? We talk about social media. We talk about forgiveness of uh, some of the more complicated people in your past. Uh, if we scale that to the entire world before the AI destroys us mm. and the, the, the human race is lost for, to history, how do you think love wins over hate? Well, I'd like to preface this by saying I tried to make pancakes the other day. Yes. Didn't work. But I'm happy to comment on this. So uh, <laughs> basically, uh, wow. I, I think like I think most of the times that that I can think of that I've struggled, you know, it's uh, and can and the times that I've read about is being unable to see the humanity in other people, and also even in sometimes our enemies and the people that have done awful things. And you go, what would allow people to do this, that, or the other? And that doesn't forgive what they've done, depending upon, you know, some things are forgivable, some things are less so. But you want to understand why. It's like, to our knowledge, demons don't populate our world. Neither do like literal angels walking around being actually perfect. A lot of times the things that it's, I find it deeply amusing watching, you know, people hoisted by their own petard on Twitter, even though it's gross and it's really unproductive. It's actually like equal parts amusing and like awful because you're not you're not happy that someone's being raked over the coals, particularly unjustifiably. But it is funny when it's the exact same thing they were raking others over the coals for, not like a week or two prior, and that's happened repeatedly and will continue to happen. And I guess I would say, as you mentioned, you know, a uh, prior, you know, like a recognition of the humanity of others, of that all of us make mistakes, that it's difficult to understand intention. I've had arguments with close friends of mine over text message where both of us ended up super pissed because we were completely misreading what the tone, the intention of what the other person was doing, and even if I was reading it correctly which I wasn't, it's so easy to uh, ascribe the most negative possible, you know, I, the, the least charitable assessment of what they're doing. And I think that that's such a dangerous way to live your life. And it's also just a fruitless way to live your life. You know, it's one thing to go, hey, why did you do that? I was pissed. Did you, what did you do? You just, you did that to make yourself feel better. I'm like, you're damn right I did. And have I done that plenty of times in my life? Yeah, I would lie if I said that I didn't. You know, uh, why did why did you punch that guy in the face? He was going crazy at me and hit me and I asked him to stop. And then I gave a warning and then I'd put him on his ass. I'm like, no, I'm not sorry. But then looking back now with years to sit on him, I'm like, do I understand why I did what I did? Absolutely. Would I like to respond differently now? Yeah, I would. You know, it, and it doesn't mean that, I think plenty of things that people do are understandable. Doesn't mean, understandable doesn't mean correct. It, understandable doesn't mean that you go, oh yeah, that's great. You go, I, I could I could see someone doing such a thing. Mm -hmm. But I guess just wrecking, trying to understand and see the humanity in others. Because if I can't see the humanity in others, how can I see it in myself? And also, you know, how am I meant to interact with everyone? As, as you said, whether, you know, even if we're a society of individuals, for at least for the time being, hopefully, you know, in perpetuity, we, we still come together as a whole. And watching, it's weird, like you said, it's it's if I only ask why once, I start with stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours, leave me the fuck alone. You're like, okay, that's fine, Ryan, but that's easy for you to say living in a society that doesn't actually function like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit cheap. But if I recognize that that's step one is I don't hurt you and you don't hurt me, but then we go, well, but how can I help you? That's step two. And then it goes way beyond that and a lot further than I've thought about it. But I guess what I would just say is again, recognition of the humanity and others and that we all have different strengths, we all have different weaknesses, and it's, you can never really be sure where the other person's coming from, but if we approach things charitably, as charitably as, as we would hope others would approach us, I think we'll do a lot better. And I guess one thing that I read that I liked that I thought was accurate and unfortunately disappointing was everyone is a great uh, you know, jury, or rather, uh, I'm sorry, a great lawyer for themselves and a judge for others. And I think that's a terrible way to live life, even if it's an understandable one. Yeah. I don't know. It's I, I think probably we flipping that is the right way to live. Yeah. Being uh, being constantly judgmental of yourself and a uh, defender of others. And that results ultimately in an interaction that de-escalates versus escalates. Right. Yeah. And you can, you can, we can all live in a world like that. And sometimes you're like, hey man, people that deserve punishment won't get it. Like, okay, hey, but what do they say? Better to have, you know, 10 guilty people go free than one innocent person, you know, burn. And ultimately that is, I think that is a better world than the other way around. And if all else fails, uh, join the team that builds the AI that kills all humans. Yeah, obviously. I mean, if you have to be on a team, pick the winning team. What that's been the uh, that's, that's that's my good, hiring pitch. Actually, it's a good hiring pitch. You still taking resumes? <laughs>
<laughs> you want to be on the team that doesn't die during the great apocalypse. Not immediately. You want to be on the one that that's uh, you know eventually long suffering and stepped on, right? Yeah. Life is suffering, Ryan Hall. This was an amazing conversation. I really enjoyed talking to you. I could probably talk to you for many more hours. I hope I do as well. Ryan, I love you, buddy. This was a great conversation. Thanks for talking today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it.